Hello everyone and thanks for joining us. It's a period of uncertainty for teachers all across Minnesota. School districts are determining their budgets for the coming year, but it's a process that's challenging because they don't know how much money they'll receive from the state. As a result, many teachers who don't have seniority in their districts might not have jobs next year. Delane Cleveland joins us now to explain. Delane? Mike and Shannon, that provision is called <coughs> LIFO, which is an acronym for last in, first out. Essentially, it means that when a school district needs to cut back on teachers, they have to go by seniority, and younger teachers are the first on the chopping block. Republican lawmakers hope to tweak that provision. We're saying, nope, you're last in the door, therefore you're first to be laid off. That simply is an outdated uh, policy. 44 other states have revised their, uh, their provisions on this, and Minnesota needs to as well. Republican State Representative Dennis Smith is the co-author of the House Education Plan and includes a provision which would give school districts and local teachers unions the opportunity to consider factors other than seniority as they determine which teachers to keep. If passed, Smith calls the bill a step in the right direction. However, the plan has not traditionally been supported by Governor Dayton, and the teachers union, Education Minnesota, says LIFO protects teachers from arbitrary or vindictive layoffs. Dennis Smith feels otherwise about revising the LIFO provision. It really is a betterment of the entire union, and more importantly, it, it, it benefits our children if we use other indications besides seniority. Smith says he believes that the bill with the re revised LIFO provision will land on the desk of Governor Dayton. If the governor vetoes the bill, he thinks there might be enough votes to override that veto.